Facebook Mark Zuckerberg's group Forward U.S. is making its push for immigration reform on the road. They're gonna, the group will be holding a roundtable, not in Silicon Valley or in Washington, but in Utah. Megan Hughes has been covering the group since it started, and she joins us now from Washington, D.C. Megan, Utah? Really? There's no skiing this time of year. What are they doing? They're trying to get grassroots, on-the-ground action here. So this is starting in about an hour, and it's a part of a series of roundtable discussions, Corey. So part of the effort in the districts to have a conversation about the economic need for immigration reform. So the players here, you've got Senator Orrin Hatch, he was a key player in the Senate immigration debate. He was a huge advocate for tech companies in rolling back some of the H-1B visa requirements. He'll be with Forward.us co-founder Joe Green, who is also Mark Zuckerberg's former college roommate. And they're going to be with a big group of tech executives, including Renewable Tech Ventures' Todd Stevens, Adaptive Computing's Rob Clyde, Reese Capitals, Amy Reese Anderson. And this is part of a bigger push that we've been seeing from Forward, which kicked off earlier this month with that big public speech by Mark Zuckerberg at the opening of Documented, the, the doc, documentary. The idea is that lawmakers are on recess, so they're at home in their districts. This is the time that they're going to be feeling pressure for reform. Activists are specifically targeting 100 House districts. So one of the goals of these roundtables is to make sure that tech's on the same page here. And this isn't the first one. Uh, Congressman Mike Honda hosted one back in June in Mountain View. That was with Brian Chesky, the founder of Airbnb. There was one in late July in Illinois with Congressman Bill Foster and Andrew Mason of Groupon. And there was another one in San Diego. Um, they're also taking, taking this to the airwaves. So they were, they've been buying ads in some of these districts, targeting specific districts on this issue. Corey? Yeah, we're going to have Congressman Mike Honda on the show on Friday, so I'll make sure to bring that up with him. But, you know, uh, with that targeting, I would imagine that's all about advertising in those 100 districts, yes? Uh, there, there has been a lot of that, and looking at specifically what Forward is doing, because you know the entire coalition is doing a lot of different things, Forward's had a couple of different approaches. I do want to show you, Corey, one of their bigger buys, $500,000, really trying to humanize the issue, telling the story of an undocumented worker and a dreamer. Take a listen. I just want an opportunity. I just want a chance um, to, to show everyone out there that I am, you know, American and that I, I will honorably serve this country wearing a Marine Corps uniform. So that's running on cable outlets, 13 major broadcast markets around the country. That includes Florida, Arizona, Texas, Illinois, and Washington, D.C., just to give you a little sense of where they're targeting. Corey? Interesting stuff. Uh, those, those are powerful ads, I think. Megan Hughes, thank you very much.